if you looked at Cadbury from behind, and his legs would be shaped something like this, and then up here is his, pel um, his hip joint, and then we're coming down to the condyles of his uh, knee joint, and then you have the tibia. Mm -hmm. And his kneecap sitting here, and his muscles of the thigh are up in this area, so he's got sort of like an angulation, if you like, with the kneecap in the middle of it. Mm -hmm. and then the patellar ligament, these guys, instead of having a nice straight line between the muscles of the thigh and the um, tibial crest, the tibial crest is sort of in this area here and the patellar ligament's coming down like that. And so you've got a force in this direction, and a force in this direction, and the patella is right in the middle of it and it's being pulled into the medial um, area and out of the groove. If you take a cross section through here, you'll see that you have this groove, which is called the trochlear groove, and the kneecap sits in there. As these animals um, present with uh, a medial patella luxation, the, knee, the kneecap or the patella is jumping out of this groove and sitting on the medial side, and gradually we get a, um, a reduction in the a height of the ridge, the medial trochlear ridge, and also the groove itself starts to get shallower because the position of the patella in the trochlear groove is, is, is the force that actually keeps that groove deep. So as time goes on, the trochlear groove becomes shallower and shallower, and I'm talking a period of, say, animals between three to six years of age or something like that. So their presentation actually becomes um, perhaps less acute but more difficult to do surgery for. So the deepening procedure is done so that we can actually retain the articular cartilage contact between the, tr the, the, the bottom of the trochlear groove and the patella. And um, so we have cartilage on cartilage articulation, which is obviously um, desirable. It's less painful and there's less arthritis. And that's done by taking a wedge out of this trochlear groove, as I mentioned. Um, we remove this piece of bone in the wedge shape, and then I'll deepen by taking more bone away I'll deepen this wedge V-shaped um, uh, osteotomy and then I will drop the cartilage containing piece of bone back in. And if you look at the, from that point of view now, this is sunken in because of the reduction in bone that I've taken here. And then the kneecap is going to be more securely placed in a deeper groove. Uh, when we have him in here, Cabri will be given some pain medication, have a pre-med. He'll be under anaesthetic. Mm -hmm. We'll take the radiographs to confirm the anatomy and the diagnosis. We'll examine him under the general anaesthetic. He'll go then, if everything's in order, into the surgery. We'll do the procedure. He'll have um, a period of time in hospital recovering. He'll be on an intravenous painkiller mm -hmm. um, for 24 hours and then he'll have a post-op um, uh, painkiller in the form of an oral medication and a patch. Mm -hmm. He'll also have some antibiotics intravenously and he'll go home with old anti-inflammatories and some antibiotics.